Hey guys, it's Travis with Diesel Laptop. Today we're actually hooked up to a JLG machine here, but uh, we're with the, on the Texas off-highway unit. We're just going to scroll down here to Agricultural, and we're going to go down to the JLG option, and this is a Telehandler G Series with a Cummins. So we'll just kind of follow the prompts here and get connected. And we're on a 9-pin connection here. All right. And once this loads up, the ignition's already on. As you can see here, it's going to take just a moment to connect. Still not too terribly slow here, but it's take around 15-20 seconds, I believe. And we'll get in here and kind of view some of the parameters and see if we have any faults. All right. Nope, oh, halfway there. Okay. All right, and this should start loading up. Okay, here we go. We're going to go into the parameters first. 128 parameters here. I'd say this is great coverage of this engine. I'm just going to kind of scroll down, let you see them all. All your major ones are here. You've got your emissions parameters in here as well. Scroll down, and some of them are broken down into voltages or your PSIs or whatever the case may be for that particular parameter. You get down here towards the bottom, you got some statuses of some switches. And scroll on down. Okay. All right, next feature is the dashboard. This is just basically going to put it in a picture view for you. Same parameters, just easier to read. All right, and you can graph them out if you need to. But under the faults, you can double click them. These will actually give you your error codes, but they give you a short description prior to double clicking them. All right. And as you can see, all of these are inactive at this point because they're yellow. If they were active, you'd, they'd be red. But just click a couple here so you can see. Under the ECU information, this is going to be your standard information here. Some serial numbers, part numbers, calibration dates, um, what type of engine it actually is. Now under your activations, here's where you can do your cylinder cutoff test. And you just go down and click start at that point. You can run your fan test, switch and sensor, intermittent connection tests. And the settings tab. Here's where your after treatment filter resets, purge count resets, protection shutdown timers, idle timers, your speeds here, your PTO switch. A lot of changes can be made on this machine here. All right. And get down to the bottom here. But I'd say excellent coverage of this machine. Thanks for watching.